Good morning and how are you doing today? I hope you're having a wonderful day. It is bright blue sunny skies and another hot gorgeous day in India and today we are on the beaches of Goa. So today I'm going to take you around and show you the beaches of North Goa. Let's go and have a look. At Ashwan Beach is one of the less crowded beaches of North Goa, which means more peace and quiet and privacy for you. They still have lifeguards though. <laughs> say, um, there are long stretches of beach with no shacks, no restaurants or sunbeds so you can choose your own private spot and enjoy the day of this light, soft, sand it's really nice. The waves on Ashman are also quite gentle so remember to pack your swimming costume. The, the various shacks and places along the beach do offer drinks and meals and sunbeds as normal. The sunbeds are free if you're eating in the shack and there's bollies for the customers if you don't want to toast too badly. The beach is a nice wide beach with soft white sand and the surrounding palm groves around it give it a very picturesque look. It's a great beach for in the North Goa area if you want a peaceful, quiet option without too much going on. Now, let's show you around Ashburn Beach. Now next door to the more famous Baga Beach is Kalangute Beach, another popular beach in North Goa where you can have a great time enjoying everything on offer here. Shacks and restaurants offer food and snacks and drinks while along the beach you can partake in a lot of water sports, there's jet skis, parasailing, banana boats, just boat trips, dolphin watching. Along the beach, you've then got uh, massages and sunbeds, and of course, bro um, brollies to sit under, and of course, the ever popular nightlife here. Now, the beach, although it can get busy, it is a pleasant beach, and the nice, gentle waves make it quite suitable for swimming along this beautiful long beach. Now, as the evening comes on and the beautiful sunset part sits right in front of you, because again, like all these beaches along Goa, the sunset is right out there. So you can sit and enjoy the beautiful sunset because then the party really begins. A lot of the places along the beach offer live music in the evenings and dancing right along the beach. So find a place that matches your beat and dance until dawn on Kalanguti Beach. Let's go dance. Lined with sunbeds and brollies, Candolin Beach has a more relaxed feel than Bagger or Kalanguti, but is still a very busy beach with plenty to do, including yoga, parasailing, dolphin trips, massages, paras oh, man, it's parasailing, amongst the cafes and shacks and restaurants. It is also a popular place for buying souvenirs or shopping for cloth and many local shops offer a beautiful selection just behind the beach. As with most of the beaches in North Goa, Condolin Beach comes alive at night with live music spilling out onto the beach and nightclubs on the street behind. The 
beach, allowing you to let your hair down and find your groove. Start off in shirt. Gorgeous day, it is hot and beautiful today and this is the popular Bagger Beach, one of the busiest beaches in Goa. Now tourism arrived here in the 60s with the flower children or hippies, when very few people had even heard of this place. But after the famous summer of love in 67, hippies and tourists started to flock here to experience the tranquil way of life laid-back atmosphere and endless parties on beautiful beaches. Now Bagger is still the top party spot in Goa and it still attracts people who are seeking answers to love, life and liberty as well as your normal tourist. You can find everything along Bagger Beach. Water sports, cocktails, sunbeds, yoga, dance clubs, food, massages, drinks, sunsets and more. So if you want to make some new friends or maybe even reinvent your life. Come and visit Bagger Beach. The most northerly of the beaches on our list is Arombal Beach. It is also the least developed beach in North Goa. The beach itself is beautiful. It tapers to a rocky end at one side and then broadens out along the beach to a beautiful sandy beach. It's also great for swimming here. Behind is lined with thick forests and also this wonderful street that wends its way behind the beach which is just full of literally hundreds of local shacks and stops, shops to buy all your supplies. It is really nice. Now, it was a, one of the quieter hippie beaches during the 60s, but rumour has it that the Beatles came here to meditate and find inspiration for some of their famous songs. No idea if that's true or what uh, songs it meant. There is still a hippie culture here, and it is one of the more cheaper, cheerful places to stay. Um, it's kept a more local feel, so there is lots of more budget end places to stay. There's no resorts of any kind. Uh, which is quite nice. So if you want somewhere to go which has kept its more of a local character, has still got quite a lot going on, a great beach for swimming, then this is quite a good option. Let's take you and show you around Arombo Beach. at one end, a river at the other, and a palm grove between surround Vagator Beach, the most picturesque beach in North Goa. Now it's not as busy as the more popular North Beaches Goa, North Goa Beaches, sorry, <laughs> and it's wide at one end, narrowing down to a rocky air entrance at the other. Very, very picturesque and, and lovely and beautiful. As I say, you've got the fort on the hill behind, making it a beautiful sit setting to enjoy a day at, a quiet day at that. There's a few rocky patches on the beach, like this one, and big swathes of sand in between. It's not a big beach, so it's a little more personal. There's only a couple of places to get food and drinks on the beach, one at one end of the beach, one at the other, 
they also have sunbeds and brollies that you can enjoy the day at or you can just find a patch of sand in between and chill for the day. There's a whole selection of places to stay right behind the beach from private villas, hotels, hostels and guest houses. You should be able to find something to fit your budget and style so you can come and enjoy Bangator Beach. was one of the first beaches in Goa to become popular thanks to the hippie culture that discovered and then descended upon this area in the 60s and the 70s and although it has changed a lot through the years it's still a fantastic place for people wanting to get a taste of that hippie lifestyle and backpackers on a budget and people looking for a cool place to hang around a bit this is a great home from home. It's not a typical all sand beaches. There's like rocky outcrops and little sand beaches in between and the tide can come quite high. Um, so there's some broad and narrow sections of beaches but it makes it nice feeling. You get these little bays and then big bays. Dotted amongst them you've got places to eat, cafes and restaurants that uh, also have great food. There's also a lot of live music in the evening and often there's a few parties along this beach, especially Wednesday, Thursdays, Friday, Saturdays, and Sunday nights. So it's a good place to come where you can chill during the day and party during the night. There is a good selection of accommodation, more budget end towards this beach, which is nice. So there's some beach huts, uh, some guest houses. There is also one or two villas, but there's no resorts along here. So it's got a nice feeling um, of that sort of more relaxed local feel. It's a beautiful scenic beach. You've got some palm trees stopping behind. So it, it's quite a nice place to come and chill for a little bit, enjoy the days, sunbathe, dance the night away. Let's show you around Anjuna Beach. 